I wanted to do something that would at least start all of us thanking you somehow. We'll never be able to thank you enough for what you've done. And we'll never, like words can't describe it, but I wanted to make a good start. Hey. What is happening? <laughs> just, just watch. All right. It's, you know. Full screen it. Yeah. Joe. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> okay, at Coldplay right now. I'm about to leave, but I have to say hello to one of my favorite listeners. Here we go. Oh my god, it's time. Oh my god! Hi! This is Hi! This is Samantha. Hi! She listens to my show all the time. Hi! And she's in school, and you have 700 and, oh god, I forget, a lot of days left of high school. A lot! I'm sorry. She would call me every day after school <laughs> and tell day. me everything that happened. And her mother was like, <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, over the past nine, ten months, Sean, what you've done has given a lot of people an outlet to just forget about life for, you know, two to three hours a day. And you've done that for me as well, too. And not only that, but you've become you along with everyone that I've met through this through this outlet have become family to me. So for that, I can't thank you enough, sir. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to do a show for us. I've been watching the free for all since the start of the pandemic. You have been alive during the, the dark times, keeping us entertained every single night um, when we didn't know what was going on in the world. So I'll just leave it to this. Like those days that you're ever having those um, feelings of imposter syndrome or just doubting yourself, you know, just rewatch this video and look around you at the people in it and that are all here because they give a shit about you and because they love you because you just give so much to other people um and i think that just speaks to your character the um you know the fact that everybody's here um willing to support you in whatever you do <laughs> the world needs to hear this. <laughs> Sweetest dude, he always has time for everyone. And despite the fact that he works minimum 28 hours a day, he still goes out of his way to provide advice and help for anyone that asks for it. You give and give and give. And that's something that, like, I admire a lot about you because, I mean, I know that, you know, if there was at any point I needed you for anything, I know that you would be there for me. Going back to the first time Samantha met you, the way you treated my little girl, how, how amazing you were to her. And it wasn't just a fluke. It wasn't just a one-time thing. That's just how you are. You're amazing. You treated her like a superstar. You put me on free-for-all. You make me feel like a superstar. You created this extended family. You are the patriarch of this family that you created. Two-time Kenny the free-for-all brought a lot of good people together, and it's all because of you. And for that, I say thank you. Oh, Sean, where do I start about how much you need to be? You took time out of your day to meet me at pool for the freshman year of high school. All four years of high school, you listened to me talk to you over the phone about stupid boy problems, what was going on in high school, and all my medical issues. 
You have always been there for me, and I know you always will be. Thank you so much for allowing me to play just a small role in the community that you're building. Uh, just as important and special it is to you, trust me, every single one of us feels the same. I love you, man. Aspect, Illinois. And I'm Michigan. Derry, New Hampshire. Denver, Colorado. Portland, Oregon. Philadelphia. Oh, boy. Wait. There's more. Sean, a couple years ago, you wanted to create something more than seven second breaks. You wanted to create something with personality and creativity and a variety of voices. But you created something so much more. You created a community, a family, something more than I think even you imagined. We will never be able to thank you enough. And I have so much to say, but to sum it all up, all that the quiet, shy, unconfident girl that I was, and all that the <laughs> annoying, loud, confident woman that I have become can say to you is thank you. Love you, bud. Oh, man. Wait. <clears throat> No, no. <laughs> I'm giving there me shit go. for the last month because my team made the World Series. That's been an interesting flex. Like, oh, your team only made the World Series. You totally kicked the crap out of my team, but yours only made the World Series. Dur, 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 dur. Four championships since 04. Buh. You sound like a Yankees and a, and a Cowboys fan. You really do. But it's okay. Hey, look, whatever you have to do to make sure that you can lay your big ass forehead on your gigantic what i'm assuming is a custom made pillow for that thing so you can sleep at night that's all fine and good okay oh, whatever you need to do bud i'm here to make sure that you are supported all right uh, but seriously though in in all honesty though if i can get deep for a moment sean uh all i really want to say and and again all jokes aside None of that matters, all right? Just, this is you and I. The way I really and truly feel about you from the heart, Sean, is that... Yeah. <laughs> I mean that. Heart. I, mean that. I knew he wasn't capable of that. There you go. Oh, man. Oh. God, we cried! Man. Nah, there it is, fine. Yeah, yeah. So Oh, that was a pedophile story? Yeah, was <laughs> 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 Hey, Kira, good job. You made him cry. That was your whole mission. You made him cry. That was. Anybody, ask anybody. My goal was to make you cry by the end of this. We don't know what's going to happen did. by the end of the year. We don't know if you're going to be here, there, whatever. But my goal was to make you cry, and I did it, and I'm so proud. Uh, I, I also just wanted to, why I muted you was to actually tell you how proud I am of you, of everything that you've done. I remember seeing your show and being like, I would like to be on that one day. I think that'd be really cool. And literally all I had to do was ask. That was it. There was no ego. There was no like anything else. It was literally just, when can you come on? And we have been giving each other shit ever since then. And honest to God, man. It's, it's one of the reasons why I love Twitch, because without that, I probably never would have met you, and that shit would have sucked. Kind of like your baseball team. Yeah, well, <laughs> history, history would disprove that, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> oh, God. So, uh, first of all, Kira, thank you. You're awesome. Um, Anything. Wow, this show was, uh, this is a totally different show than when we left the studio. Thank you, Alex, uh, for the, uh, the subs. My God, we're in a level three hype train. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Can you keep that going? <laughs> we going every, every day, we'll just we'll hit the emotions. Wow. Uh, TMI twitch.tv user notice. I'm sure. Wow. My, I don't know what's happening there. I think that's uh that is probably a fail. Um, 
Yeah, when we when we were doing the show in the studio, um, it was a different show, uh, and it was getting people in. We're chatting, yeah. sure, and it really I don't think there was a, a lot of um, I don't think there was a lot of like necessarily emotion involved with it. Like here, I know you loved being involved with it. I love being involved with it. Um, I think that when the pandemic happened, I'm like, you know what? We got to double down on this thing because I think people are going to need um, human interaction more than ever. And rather than everyone being in the studio, we couldn't do that anymore. And so out of necessity, we opened it up to everyone. Um, it really wasn't an everyone. I was just going to the same people that I would have in studio. But then slowly but surely, I think people were starting to pick it up. And I mean... You know, all right. So not a straggler, but I've known her for years. But it's like, all right, you know what? You should be on this. You're freaking hilarious. Uh, picked up a straggler. Picked up a straggler. Uh, sort of not really, but kind of a straggler. <laughs> Strag straggish. Uh, I don't want to say, stra say straggler. Straggish. But you know what I'm saying? Like, we just started collecting no, but people. Like, but you had Samantha, and I just got yeah. nosy and jealous. We, we just started collecting people <laughs> as time went on. And... um. And it ended be and for some people like Nate sent sent this in. You felt my depression day. Sean free for all has been great medicine. I've gotten that from then, way oh, more people, people than and Ben I, mentioned it. Too. Ken has mentioned it. Other people have mentioned it to me off, off uh, you know off stream. And it's like, guys, um, this show is <laughs> dog shit without you guys. <laughs> like honest to God, it's just. <laughs> It's just me talking to myself in a room without anyone to bounce off of and having you guys be a part of the show and having anyone w w wants to take two or three, um, two or three hours out of their day. Uh, Joe Miami, thank you for the one bit. Um, to be able to be a part of this is fucking incredible. It really, it, it means a lot to me because it's given me a purpose. Because without this, I don't want to say that I'm unthankful. I'm thankful for the jobs I have. I've mentioned it when we... So had to say goodbye to the in studio stuff. It's uh, yeah, this is the thing that that I look forward to every night. You know, it's a thing that doesn't pay me, and yet I, I love it. Um, thank you. Thanks, <laughs> Chopper. Chop Odd one who made fun of my forehead earlier. I'll never forget that you jerk. Uh, saying, uh, Sean, you've helped me more than you know. You know what you've and you've been a great odd one. I, I, I sixty nine. Thank you very much. Odd one. Um. <laughs> Just started watching the show one day. I'm not sure if we picked him up through a, a, a raid through wrestling streams. And by the way, best decision I ever made back in February was going to Twitch exclusively. And that was you. You're the one who told me to do that. And of course, for the coming out of this. Thank you very much for the, the 1069. Very good. But like, you know, we, we were doing it on Facebook and that was for what it was. And then uh, to kind of create a community, we went to Twitch. And, and um, man, it's been freaking. Yeah. Been awesome, uh, Mr. Carl's Glad jersey. Don't forget, don't forget his forehead was shown at Raider Stadium. Very true. Um, On a jumbotron. Here. Joe it's Cole famous saying, now. I'm a bit of an outsider, <laughs> but I'm also part of the circle. Oh man, God, thank you guys. Uh, I enjoy every second of this uh, you, amazing. Uh, what a what a, uh, what the f is this Facebook alert is is turned into? And like you know, like Will is yeah. like a prime example, and I f with Will all the time. I love Will. I love busting his balls. It's my favorite thing, getting him to freaking <laughs> freak out. It makes awesome. me so happy. Um, yeah. He moved to Vegas. I'm not gonna say he'll he would have never have moved to Vegas without free for all, but let's call it what it is. Like him meeting Francisco, him meeting you, him meeting you, and probably other things. Um, <laughs> Speak of the devil. Here's Will. We had a ball. Uh, hi, hi, William. How are you, sir? Stop it. Stop it. Do not talk about me, okay? Uh, I love what? you, and that's all that matters. I discovered you thanks to Facebook, and you brought me into this Ooh. wonderful little family. I now have a Vegas mom that I love more than anybody else, and uh. I confide in her because of you. So, you have made all of this happen. You have brought so much joy and happiness to all of us. And damn it, I like, even though you you were glad that I wasn't there tonight. Wasn't <laughs> <laughs> just him. But Sweet revenge. I, I love you. I love you. I love you too, Will. I love you too. Uh, right. I did. I, by the way, I saw that you I saw that you went to Pops of Francisco, but not me over the weekend. So, uh, so.
you. Uh, Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, That was Francisco's plan. I just showed up. Yeah, Thank okay, you. That's fine. It's okay. I still love you, Will. Yeah, we could go to Pops tonight. I don't give a... Maybe we will. Who's to say? Okay. I don't know. All right. Wouldn't that be uh, right, Let's go to Pops oh tonight. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't know. We'll see. I'm exhausted, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, I, hey, I'll go to Pops and you can show up. And if you don't show up, then that's your own fault. Fair. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love you, Will. Love you too. Right. Bye. Will, everybody. Will is a... Uh, can I say that? Yes, go ahead. Uh, oh, go ahead. So, sorry. Uh, recently... I was diagnosed with depression and you just being on here, whether it's once a week, more than once, or even just watch it. Like it just helps me forget and helps me laugh and helps me forget about all the crap I go through and like all the bad thoughts. If you, if you don't know um, what this girl has been through, I mean, dealing with NF, neurofibromatosis, she's been through the friggin' ringer. She's been through the ringer, seeing her daughter go through all that stuff. And, uh, and I know how important it is to you. You've made it very clear. And it's so important that you will cheat and do anything necessary to win <laughs> just so you can stay on longer. But, uh, no, but, <laughs> but no, honestly. It's not even like that. It's like being away out here. I don't have. You're not getting the college experience because you're going, you're up there in Reno on, under COVID freaking protocols. You're not really well, getting to really like experience it yet. Yeah. Like, you're just away I from home. Like my mom, I, my mom and I have gone through everything together. And some nights when it's just so bad and I want to hug my mom and cry in her arms, I can't. So I end up crying like myself to sleep or something because I don't have my mom and I don't have, you know, my best friends that I do in Vegas that I can do something with. Like, I'm just alone. And this show makes me not feel that. Seriously, because she will call me and she is so sad with that, that, that awful voice that you hear right now that just rips my heart out. And then two minutes later, she's tagging me on Instagram. Because you posted something hysterical. Yeah. And I, Brandy, I'm, I'm so grateful. Brandy in the chat, what's going on? Did I miss something? Oh, no, it's no big deal. Kira came out, so she just... <laughs> <laughs> We're all very, We're very, proud, very, of very proud of her. We're very proud of her. We're supporting Kara her. Kara was the most deflecting. excited. She's deflecting. I was the most excited. I was pretty excited about it. Very excited about it. <laughs> added, you, added you on a couple dating Just had to, just oh, had to wait until after you left. That's all right. right. Bring it in, everyone. Bring it in. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, no kidding. Well, uh, I just, I want to. Uh, uh, hey, Om- Om- Omicron, Omicron. No, thank Omicron, you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There. <laughs> I didn't know. Right I didn't know what this was gonna be. To like, to be fair, I didn't know what this to was be gonna fair. be. To be fair. To be fair. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, I didn't know what this was for. Got asked to send, um, you know, my city, and which I did. And he, she's like, oh, if you want to say anything nice. I'm like, no, I'm good. No, I didn't know what it was going to be. <laughs> I asked 